you're so nice. You're so nice. What a job, but we manage it. Look here. Rosemary from Oakville. Happy New Year and welcome to Talk TV and we've got a good one for you tonight. What are your predictions for the year 2001 and what's in store for you? Tonight I'm joined by the most documented psychic in the world, Anthony Carr, and we are talking about the future. Anthony, for 2001 you have made a number of predictions including, if I remember reading this thing here, that you must have taken a split <laughs> course to get we are going that. to have an earthquake rocking Toronto. Prince Charles is giving up his rights to the throne. I could believe that. And a major economic depression. How do you come up with this stuff? Um, you got me. I don't know. I just uh, read the papers and I peruse everything. And if something feels right instinctively or psychically, uh, I go with it. What's and the difference between you and Faith's popcorn? And who? Faith's popcorn, the one, the woman that's hired by co firms to predict consumer demand or whatever. Well, there is no difference. I assume she's a psychic. I don't know. She's not. Well, she reads a lot. Well, she reads a lot, but <laughs> has a big reach. To keep it, to keep it simple, we go with our gut feeling, our ah. hunches. There are six senses within the sixth sense. Okay. Right? So when you get a hunch or a gut feeling, a guy goes to the track. Uh, before he gets to the track, he looks through the, the, the horses and says, Oh, I got a gut feeling about the horse. He gets there, he looks at the tote board and he changes his mind. The horse he had originally picked wins by a long shot. And he says, Why didn't I go with my gut feeling? That is part and parcel of the psyche. We all have that. We're all electrical creatures. Christians call it the soul. I call it electricity. In the Far East, they call it the prana, the life force, whatever. But it suffuses through us, out of us, beyond us. And without it, it's just like puppets on a string. We can't do anything unless the cosmos works first. Okay. Okay. Pull up your hands. This is a stick-up. <laughs> well, as we can see, a very practical, logical mind, except you may have suffered a head injury or an accident some many years back ago. Yeah, I did. And uh, you have a you know, slight inferiority complex with the first short finger being uh, not quite as long as the third finger, but you uh, bluster and you overcome that. But that's only in your mind. <laughs> but let me tell you, your mercury finger is very short, I noticed. That's the fourth finger. You were not born this way. One, two, three, four. That's a thumb. This one? That's a thumb. You can't Oh, one, two. Yeah, I wasn't born with that. that I lost that mine. Well, I was I, mining. If that were, if that were naturally uh, yeah. configured that way, you would not be in communications. That's a finger of communication. Oh, is that right? But I want okay. to tell you, while he was talking with you, I was picking up a, a change of a home, a beautiful home. up around, I don't usually get this specific, but something around Casaloma, Avenue Road, or something like that. One of those big white fancy things there. Who, me? Something about, like <laughs> that picked that up around you. And there's a change of home or a uh, beautiful, it's a beautiful home. white marble front and all that kind of thing. It's very positive. I don't know exactly. I don't usually say I see a street. But you know, Do I win part? the lottery? No, you're not winning the lottery. Oh, well, thanks. Yet. And let me ask you, I'm going to stick my neck out in the limb here, which I okay. always seem to do. do you, are you an outdoors man? Do you like outdoor camping, canoeing, all that kind of thing? Well, I canoe and I, see right I, here. And I what, work out a lot. Okay. And and what, I don't what, mind the outdoors. What did I write there? I don't know. What did you write? Canoe. Canoe. I can yeah, roll well, boat. Yeah, I'm, I can roll I've boat done canoe. That. <laughs> anyway, there's a whole lot of uh, uh, sports and, and a whole show, perhaps a TV show, a new future for you. Another Sporting, show. Kind of a Ray Green show type of thing, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, I Moses, can tell you are you listening? Me, but there's a Moses owes me two hundred dollars from. 20 years ago when we were out on Queen Street there, 111, they said, uh, I said, I did a reading for you and you owe me $200. He says, I owe you. <laughs> I owe you. It's like money in the bank. He says, what is my bank? You know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but something very positive in the career, sporting, canoeing, all that. And there's a big home there. Uh, one of those palatial mansion, Forest Hill type things come up. Anthony will tell you whether or not he agrees with you or if you'd like him to ask a question about what's in your future, uh, whether it's, no? About personal readings. I no personal readings. Scrub I, the personal I, readings. Okay, you, you there tell, you go. Tell me what they think the future is, okay. and I'll tell them whether it's right or not. Okay, that's fair enough. You got that? <laughs> you tell him, he'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> we'll be back in just a few minutes to take your calls. Call me. Call me. <laughs> Welcome back to the future on Talk TV. Tonight we're talking about the future with psychic Anthony Carr, Victor from Toronto. Victor. 
Happy New Year, gentlemen. There you go. And what are your predictions? Mm, let me think here. Yeah, I think they're going to finally get the gardener sorted out, the garbage situation sorted out. <laughs> that sounds like a wish list, not a prediction. Well, the Leafs are going to win the Stanley Cup. I mean, that's well, a given, though. Well, well, there it is right here. That's what I just said. Is that right? Did I you say it? that? I got it. I got it. Just the envelope, please. Okay. And, and the winner is sports. Sports. Okay, Toronto Argos to win Grey Cup, Leafs to win Stanley Cup, Blue Jays to win Eastern and Western Divisions, but will not win World Series for another seven years. We'll I come predict that you are right. See? <laughs> Mind you, they've been wrong. I've been wrong for the last 20 years. You know, you guys are bound you, to get it. You, you guys. <laughs> I think City Hall might just get something done this year, too. <laughs> well, I'm a hometown boy. What do you want me to do? Yeah, well, I'm, please, I'm trying. Are your predictions are sort of, you know, skewed by biases oh, here? Absolutely. Oh, okay, okay, there you go. And that's one thing readers and psychics. By by the way, all who go to psychics frequent these places. Uh, make sure that the, the individual is, doesn't bias or color their readings for you according to their own miserable lives. Which, whether it's money, well, that goes for me too. If you're not, if your love life sucks, you know, then it's well, your love life's going. So you got to be careful not to read your own miserable life into somebody else's reading. Rosa from Toronto. Rosa. Hi. Hi. How are you? Not too bad. What are your Happy predictions? Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you too. Two thousand one. A millennium has finally arrived. What is it, Rosa? It's Rosa. Rosa, you are my posse. <laughs> you are. Pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Would you believe that they pay us to come on here? <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosa. What are your predictions? My prediction is that we're going to get the Olympics in Toronto. Ah, okay. Ah, Olympics. That's your prediction. I got it right here. <clears throat> okay, what's your prediction? I got it. We will, we will get the the uh, envelope, please. What is this? Oh, Mayor Mel. I got Mayor Mel here. That we will, and he will uh, spearhead the uh, the uh, Olympics for the 208. We will get them. I got a little note here that Mayor Mel will uh, probably be more lovable and uh, popular than he, even he was before all of this trouble here. And uh, it turns out, by the way, you know, the bad boy really is a bad boy. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Aaron. I'm a female, you're... by the way. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So, oh, sorry about that. That's okay. 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 Aaron E. Aaron E. Okay. Anyway, there's <laughs> a lot of travel uh, for the next year for you, Aaron. Oh, really? Traveling uh, Europe. Uh, I see the American flag. What do you do for a living now? Well, I've just actually applied for a job uh, to do with the South Pacific. Well, there you go. What can I say? And yeah. you're going to be very successful because you're surrounded by great planets right now. So when he said money talks, he's not kidding, except in my case, it says goodbye. <laughs> okay, but my one main concern yeah, is you're, I would... you're going to fall in love with a nice-looking blonde guy. Cereal. Cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Cereal. That was when? your question. Soon. In fact, during a trip, one of these trips when you... Some enchanted evening. South Pacific, right? Okay, there you go. Yeah? Relax. You, you're coasting all the way. It's, yeah? all, it's all before you. So you're an Aries. You want everything, right? Great love affair, job well. in the South Pacific. So Aries is surrounded by all the big planets. There you go. Snow has disappeared. Snow. Anyway, we've got to leave Aaron. Yeah, we, okay, thank you. You happy? Happy New Year. Yes, I'm happy. Okay. Happy Hanukkah, New Year, whatever. Happy New Year. Yeah, Brad, I get a... Looks like, I don't know how to describe this, it's a piece of wood the color of this desk here, and it's broken. It's almost like something's broken in your life. It's the end of something, the some, beginning of something new. Now, the other thing is, uh, have you ever done any skiing? I go right for the jugular here. Skiing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, not for a few years, though. Because it's that kind of wood, a broken lodge there, something that has to be rebuilt. And I see you going down skis, or skiing, and ski lifts, and all that kind of thing. And, Vancouver, those mountains out west, all that kind of Can't thing. Can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, Hello? I'm talking to them. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hey, you're still there. I, I'm still yeah. here. I'm, I'm, I'm just listening to, the, to these guys. It's all news to me. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but what if they're right? Okay, so you've done, you've skied before. And I'll tell you, you're going back into it in some way or other, but through a business part of it. And something's going to take you over the mountains uh, to Vancouver out west. There you go. Maybe I'm going to be a ski lift operator or something. No, no skidding. <laughs> Maybe you'll own a ski I'll lift. I'll tell you what it has to do, though. It's an investment. That's right. From behind the scenes, business. Okay. Okay, Brad, thank you. What do you think, Brad? What well, do you do, well, Brad? Well, I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. What do you do for a living now? 
Uh, I work in uh, film production. Well, there it's you probably go. a scene, you there, know, uh, yeah, right. Moonlight in Vermont, uh, yeah. some, you know, snow, snow everywhere, Valley, uh, right? You know, okay. that's it. It's a movie. Hold that, guys! I got to take another break here, and that's the immediate, not the future. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of minutes with your predictions. We have Caroline from Toronto. Caroline. Hi. Hi. Have you got a prediction? I do, Peter. I Go think for that, it. I think that the Ontario um, economy is going to strengthen, oh. particularly in employment. Um, the mid-90s were terrible. A lot of companies downsized, closed, moved south, and that's going to stop. And I guess the Olympics are going to have a lot to do with that. And I'm hoping a lot of more people will be working and a lot more stable. Marilyn, I have to disagree with you. I think oh, there's, a, no. there's a great economic crash coming, except <laughs> in the field of entertainment. So Toronto will be okay because of the movies, the gambling, uh, so-called syntax. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but everywhere yeah. else, I think, is the rich will get richer and the poor will get poorer. And I also feel you should be going into social work for some reason. Oh. You should be working. <laughs> and again, working, or you would have made a good school teacher. Yeah, I, that's I, my sign. The witch? That's my sign. I'm a Virgo, so that's it. Because I see you nurturing small children, you know, or a daycare or that kind of thing. So, in fact, I'll say you're going to go into something like that where you can make a living and help others like of that ilk or children or the less fortunate. So, there. There we go. I think we have Cindy from Toronto. C beg pardon? Hi. It is Cindy from Toronto. Yeah. I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> there you go. How are you, Cindy? Pretty good, thanks. Happy New Year. And what have, have you got a prediction or do you want us to tell you? I would like to know all of the mysteries about my future. Um, I guess <laughs> money, career, love. The normal oh. stuff. Oh, just a few things. Sure, right. that's all. <laughs> there's a man, there's a dark haired man coming into your life who's going to bring you a lot of grief, uh, Cindy. Okay. And you probably right in the middle of love affairs or again. I've I been get, single for about three years, so I'm just. Finished. So you finished yeah. along. Right. This guy's coming. He's got curly dark hair, good looking, suave debonair, as they say, suave and debonair. But anyway, he's. Watch a, him. He, Watch you know, him. He's the kind of guy who will treat you like dirt, but you'll love it like most women do. And, hey! Uh, but you should because uh, you, you, you have to go to school. There's a course, a short course you're taking, which will uh, impact very strongly on your career. What, what is it you do? You're not a. I'm an accountant. An accountant. Me too, on account of I'm broke most of the time. That's why I'm doing the show. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Watch out! This he's exciting. He's uh, but but he's almost like sort of a, a street guy with charisma. That's all I gotta say. You concentrate on your job, your work, and uh, I, I know accountants don't travel much. But again, because you're an Aries, I get a lot of traveling around you. Do they send you out anywhere? No, nowhere. Huh? Okay. Well, I have to say again, and and you're under all the same good aspects as the other Aries people are, and it's with Pluto making a trine to your uh, uh, airy son at some point that's going to push you in, into strange areas or new lands, new opportunities. And you too, toward the west, like Calgary or Edmonton, something like that. Okay, okay. We, we have, Cara, Cindy, yes? you happy with that? Sounds good. Except for the dark hair. <laughs> okay, guy. watch okay, the guy with the curly much. black hair. Carlos from Toronto. Carlos? Yes. Are you there? Uh, yes, I am here. Um, uh, um, you. Silverman. <laughs> yes, I'd like to ask you some predictions about uh, New Year. Uh, Happy New Year, anyway, to everybody. Happy New Year. And I'd like to ask you some predictions about um, money, uh, work, and uh, home, probably in the future to come. Ah, uh, you put on the glasses. This might be serious. Well, it's actually the lights are driving me nuts. Yeah. yeah. Carlos, I see a car around you, a red car. Red, red car. Be careful of... Um, you know, speeding and driving, and although I get a sense of a new car coming your way as well. Thank you. So, dude, I guess the one you got's pretty bathed out, right? <laughs> yes, my actually, mine is very old. I need another replacement. Well, it's coming. So I, I think you're going to actually win one for some oh, reason. Thank I see you. A, a draw or a ticket of some kind. Uh, probably a uh, lottery. Nah, I'm tired <laughs> of answering. Who's going to listen? If, if we could all predict a lot. What do you think we'd be doing here? No. <laughs> no, anyway. probably, probably under hard working situation. Probably that's the only benefit. Okay, okay. Carlos. Thank I, you very much, Peter Silverman. And good right, luck. Good welcome. luck with the car. Welcome back to Talk TV. We're talking about the future. And I've got my neurologist, numerologist, not numerologist, <laughs> numerologist. Sorry. Carlos Gogos in one hand and my psychic who is Anthony Carr on the other. 
<laughs> and I would like to ask you gentlemen as we're winding down this program for your major prediction for the year. Make we're, it quick. We're getting the, we're getting the Olympics. Uh, I'm worried about the nuclear uh, plant at uh, Pickering because we're okay, going to get Okay, I got you good. You better, you got 10 seconds. We're going to make lots of money, uh, industry, okay. gambling, oh, everything. Oh, we got a minute. That's okay. it. We're okay. As okay. we wind this show up, is there some wild predictions here, but it would seem that everybody, no matter how cynical they may be, wants that little edge it's to know absolutely. what the future is. Speaking of edge, it's a double-edged sword. You want to hear it if it's good, but not if it's bad. <laughs> not only that, did you know in ancient uh, history there's always been uh, situations where people have used a lot of natural sciences to help them in their own personal lives, and today is no different. We should be open-minded to uh, trying out different things, because you'd be amazed at how well you can actually use it in your life. And I like to say be open-minded, but don't have a hole in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to thank you both for coming here. It's been a delight to having you, and our program, our viewers obviously lapped it up. <laughs> I've still got to get from you the full story of my life, and that's it for Talk TV. Thanks to Anthony and Chris for coming in on New Year's Day. I'll be back on Wednesday night. See you then. Happy New Year, and have a great evening. Thanks.